internet my name is hazel from hazel nutty games it's almost saturday so welcome to vlog time oh oh i alarmed her uh what what am i doing why am i talking to myself oh my gosh uh this week we got confirmation there was a blizzard blog post that states that patch 6.0.2 uh the the pre-patch for warlords of drainer is coming out on october the 14th which is this upcoming tuesday that is four days away as of this particular almost saturday vlog hi Hi, some people mentioned lack of the kitty in the last video. She was just in the cat tree the whole time. But apparently this 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 take is not going to be like that. Um, so yeah, patch is dropping on Tuesday. So anybody that's still trying to do Brawler's Guild or challenge modes or... Um, green fire? There's one other thing that you can't do anymore. I don't know. Um, picking up the legendary quest, I guess. Uh, things that people that have business to wrap up before the patch... Uh, need to get that done real quick because uh, we're running out of time. I have either given up or achieved everything that I wanted to. Uh, I got the green fire title. That's all good and done. And uh, that, that's all I really want. Don't, don't chew on me. Don't chew on me. You can be in my lap, but you can't chew on me. You can lick me. That's okay. Um, so yeah, patch on Tuesday. Super excited. We're getting new models. We're getting stat squish. We are getting um, upper and lower black rock spire i think it's just gonna be one big level 90 black rock spire just temporarily for this pre-patch once warlords of drainer comes out of course that will be level 100 uh this new instance will drop eye level 550 blue loot so that's gonna be big upgrades for people like me who uh do two weeks of lfr and then go roll another alt and have been doing that throughout the whole expansion um so yeah it's very exciting um uh, there's gonna be a little question to do in blasted lands i haven't checked it out in the ptr but i don't anticipate it's gonna take very long um, even for people like me that have, you know, all, all of the different characters. Um, as far as Warlords and beta content goes, the face comparison videos where I just show before and after of what the model face look face options look like. Um, those will be out at a rate of two every day until Sunday, at which point we will be finished all of them. I'm sorry about all, this, all the spam videos. I considered doing them as just like one video for each race, showing male and female, but I figured most people probably don't have a character of each and may not be interested. Hi, that's my hair. You can't have it. I'm gonna make you go away. Um, so yeah, those will be all finished as of Sunday, just in time for you to check out to see what you're gonna look like at the patch. And a reminder, if you hate them, you do not have to use them. You don't have to use the new models. There will be a toggle that lets you use old models. And you will be able to change your face at the barbershop for 36 gold. So the only things that your character is locked into now is their skin color and their gender. Um, hair features, color, all sorts of stuff can be changed at the barbershop now. So no worries on that. There, there. Um, I, in, in personal Warcraft, I have been trying to kill time waiting for this patch because, you know, I'm not raiding Siege of Morgamar anymore. I never really did, to be honest. Um, just trying to kill some time, so I've been doing achievements. Um, I recently got the, the, I don't remember what it's called, but the meta achievement for doing the Mists of Pandaria Heroic Dungeons. I had a fan help me with that. Um, Skaterbun, you might know him from the comments. Uh, help me with that. We did those on stream, and that was a lot of fun. So I got a, a red Cloud Serpent, which looks a lot like the rest of my Cloud Serpents, but hey, it's another mount. And we've just finished up, or we've just almost finished up, uh, Glory of the Hero, because I never actually did the Northrin Heroic meta achievements. And after I'm done that, I've got all the Cataclysm ones to look at too. So keep him busy. Um, I've decided that I want a blue Proto Drake. I've decided I'm going to be spending some time with Scotty the Ruthless and Utgard Pinnacle Heroic. Because um, I, I, I want that mount. So I'm starting the farm. And I gathered together all of my level 90 characters that have a decent level of gear. And discovered that I'm running this thing 11 times a day because I have too many alts. Um, I actually have quite a few more alts at high level, but quite a few of them, I think seven or eight of them, got left at level 85. I played them in Cataclysm and then abandoned them when I switched servers, because I do that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm running Scotty 11 times a day right now. It's uh, It takes a long time. It's like more than an hour every morning, but uh, that's okay. And theoretically, supposedly, if I'm not like horribly unlucky, I should have it. Maybe before Warlords comes out, because it's got a 1.5% drop chance. So if I'm doing it 11 times a day, it can't take that long. Da -da -da. Let's see. I cannot be trusted with an open top cup like this, apparently. Normally, I'm really good. I'll usually have a beverage on my desk. I'll usually have either water handy or tea. It's one of the two. And if it's tea, it's usually like a herbal or clear tea, like green or herbal tea, unless it's morning, in which case I have breakfast tea. But... Like, just this last week, like, the last seven or eight days, I have been a menace for knocking over my drinks. I don't even know what it is. I'm not, like, flailing around. It's not the cat. The cat hasn't knocked anything over. 
and I just I'll just like move my hand past my cup or mug or whatever and then a giant mess will happen and thankfully I haven't damaged any electronics yet um everything seems to be like the 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 fluid just goes onto the desk and then it doesn't like I have enough space on this desk that it's not falling directly on top what are you eating did you find a tiny piece of paper don't eat that hang on Play with the big piece of paper. Go get it. This is the fetch playing cat. Um, anyways, I was talking about knocking over drinks and like, sometimes if it's really hot tea, it hurts. So I need to either work on my spatial awareness or uh, start getting like child style sippy cups so that I can't uh, damage myself because it's only a matter of time before I spill a drink on the cat and then she'll hate me forever. So <laughs> can't have that. Um, outside my pepper plants, I talk about this every week, probably nobody cares, I don't care, I'm excited. My pepper plants, they have actual peppers on them! Um, the, the serrano peppers are like actually getting almost to like full size. Um, there happened, it happened really quickly after the flowers, flowers went down and every single flower that plant has spread so far I set into a piece of fruit, so I'm really excited about that. Um, even though it's like mi almost mid-October, we've been having really sunny warm weather throughout the days and I've just been bringing them in at night so that they don't get too cold overnight. Um, cause they're all in pots, so, uh, it's just been magical, and it's supposed to be really overcast right now, but it's just sunny as summer out there, so. I'm happy they're happy, and that's been great, although, something is eating little holes in the leaves of not all of the plants, just like two of them. And I don't know what it is. It might be beetles, because it's not, like, I check them a couple times a day, uh, like, top and underneath the leaves. I check them at night. I bring them in at night, too, so they're not outside overnight. It doesn't seem to be caterpillars or anything like that. It's definitely not slugs. They're all in pots, like, on a railing. They're not, like, anywhere close to the ground. So the only thing I can think of is beetles. I don't know. I don't know. The peppers seem to be fun. They've just got slightly holy leaves, and I'm sure that's normal, but they're my babies. Something's eating my babies. Uh, da -da -da -da. And uh, it's Friday, so I'm going to be streaming this afternoon. Uh, we've been, I've been doing reasonably well at keeping up with the Monday, Wednesday, 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 Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. Um, they start at 4 p.m. Pacific. Theoretically, I'm often a couple minutes late, but they theoretically start at 4. And then they go until around 6, and I've, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with those today. I'm going to try and do this Dark Souls DLC, this Crown of the Ivory King that's come out. I haven't really looked at it. I haven't played Dark Souls in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to be real rusty. But I'm, I'm going to sit down and try it and see if I remember how to play Dark Souls. We'll see if I remember how to set up Dark Souls to stream without breaking things, because it's very finicky with Windows 8. And da -da -da, so I think it's time for some questions. Uh, Rob wants to know, and this may not have been intended as a vlog question, but I didn't see it until just now. Uh, how long total about does the whole green fire quest line take and how many fights are there? Well, this depends on how much research you're willing to do, how much gear you have, and how, like, how much, how good you are. <laughs> um, if you're somebody who's, like, rated a lot and you're really used to paying attention to mechanics and picking up ads and being really aware of what's going on, it's not going to take you that long. Um, the quest line that happens up leading to... The uh, the Black Temple thing takes maybe maybe an hour or so. You gotta fly all over the place and collect some stuff, but it's not hard. Um, so maybe like give yourself like an hour, hour and a half for that. And then there are two total fights. The first one is pretty simple. If you have deadly boss mods installed, it's gonna walk you right through it. And then this the second fight, the Canworthad fight, which everybody talks about, is not so simple. And I would recommend watching some videos um, about how to do that. Set yourself up some macros and just go into it with a plan. Um, I did it. In about, in about an afternoon, I took about two hours or so to get from the very beginning of the quest chain. Maybe, and, then, and then, like, the first half of the scenario up until that final fight took a couple of hours as well. Um, it wasn't the most difficult thing ever, but you do have to sit down and do it. And there's a good amount of content there. So give yourself, like, a good day, I would say. And if you're somebody that likes to practice things quite a bit, that, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get the hang of things... Um, then give yourself a little bit more time than that. And of course, this will depend on your item level. I did this at eye level 507. Um, but if you go higher than that, it's going to be easier. If you're doing it under 500, you need to be real good. <laughs> um, but thankfully, item level 500 and 500 to like 510 ish is pretty achievable with like a week of LFR. Um, if you go to the Timeless Isle, buy a bunch of what do they call the, the coins for Throne of Thunder. If you buy a bunch of those, 
um, Timeless Gear will get you into Throne of Thunder. Using all of those Throne of Thunder tokens you, buy, you can buy with Timeless Isle coins will get you into Siege of Orgrimmar. And then one week of Siege of Orgrimmar, if you if you have fairly good luck, should get you enough item level for it. Two weeks, if necessary. Um, although you don't have two weeks anymore. <laughs> Um, the only thing I would recommend is just look up the Canrith ad fight. There's a couple of great videos on YouTube. Make sure you specify 5.4 because there were some Warlock nerfs that happened at 5.4, the beginning of it, that changed it. So, like, take some time prepared, do some research, get some macros, make sure you got your talents and glyphs all set up right. Um, I'm not the right person to look to for that guide. I did a live stream highlight video that shows me doing it, but I don't explain it at all. So, get, do your research, you'll be just fine. It's not as bad as everybody says it is. Uh, da -da -da -da. Skaterbun wants to know if you could add a fourth spec for any class, what would the spec be? You can pick as many classes as you want. Um, first thing to say is dual spec right now is not enough for me. <laughs> if there was a fourth spec to pick on a, on every class, like dual spec would just drive me crazy. I already have enough problems playing a druid and wanting to be a bear druid and a balanced druid and a resto druid because you can't do that without respecting all the time. Um, having said that, and having made the blanket disclaimer statement that I'm not a designer, I don't know how to design things, and these things would be terrible if they actually happened. Uh, let's get started for Hunter. There's going to be a fourth Hunter spec. I would say, and following the trend of them taking inspiration from other Blizzard franchises for classes, I would say Demon Hunting. People have been asking for Demon Hunters for a while. The way I would do it with, and keep in mind this is something I've thought about for about 30 seconds, um, the way I would do it is I would give up the pet, get rid of the pet, do the kind of warlock thing where you sack the pet or just don't have one in that spec, um, adjust the other damage to compensate for that, make it melee, um, give you give them some, some special type weapons and let them use some swords or whatever and then make them go melee. You can still use the focus system and you can still use a lot of other hunter mechanics, but melee, no pet, and then as far as special abilities, I would give them a theme of anti-magic kind of crowd control stuff. Make it cool for PvP, make it kind of an anti-caster melee class um, based off a hunter focus system. That's all I can say because um, that, that's all I got and it's probably not very good. Um, for, do, 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 do. for priests, I always kind of wanted a holy style casting damage spec just because whenever I play a priest, like a holy priest, I, I always need to have a DPS off spec so I can go and quest and whatever, but I always feel like I'm breaking horrible roleplay laws and like betraying the light whenever I spec shadow, even though shadow is a fantastic spec. So I think it would be cool to have like a wrath spec that just really fleshes out. I mean, obviously we have holy fire and smite, but I want like five or six more damage spells, an extra resource system, and then, you know, procs and things to manage to get this like really cool, holy, angry, um, ranged casting damage spec. That would be neat, but... Um, I'm not terribly concerned about it, but that would be kind of cool. And then third and final, um, Mage, I think, or maybe Death Knight, but probably Mage. It would be very cool if they had a Blood Mage healing spec that's kind of, it's a healing spec, but it's based around lifesteal. So you do a, some some small amount of damage as well. Like you steal life from mobs, you redistribute it to your, uh, to your allies. And then there's probably some kind of life tappy mechanic where you can hurt yourself to heal your allies as well. And then you have extra strong healing capabilities for yourself you have like abilities that will passively drain and drain health from uh like you could have a dot that you cast on something that drains health directly to you that's a little more potent than the things that drain health to everybody else allowing you to keep yourself healed a little bit more and then you use your health as a resource for healing your team that'd be kind of cool uh yeah so that's that next week when we talk we'll have the new patch and i can tell you all about what i think and you guys can tell me all about what you think and everybody can get real mad because we're getting a stat squish and class changes and, you know, changes hard. And, uh, oh man, I can't wait. So excited. If you have any questions you would like answered on a Saturday vlog or an almost Saturday vlog as these happen to be. Uh, sorry, cat. Um, uh, just leave them as a comment on the video or send me a message on YouTube or you can email me. The email is down in the description somewhere. I hope you guys have an awesome week and have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.